the Acadian Provincial School Board was created in 1996. After a long campaign by the province's Acadian and French communities. Ever since, Nova Scotia's French have been in charge of their own school system. Today, more than 5,400 students are in the CSAP's 22 schools. And almost half of these students are in the six schools located in the greater Halifax metropolitan area. One of these schools is getting overcrowded because it holds almost 11% of the French students in the province. Bonjour. 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 <laughs> On the first day of school, teachers evaluate the preschool students' French needs. There are two types of classes, regular classes for French students and francisation classes for the students who need help with their French or for those who don't speak the language at all. It's like an immersion class. It's clear that Matteo is not feeling comfortable in this strictly French environment, but for him, there is one language that is universal, sports. It's a real school with real basketball nets. Indoor and outdoor, I'm all right, I'm just kidding. Viens chercher un ballon? Non, mais c'est beaucoup. Okay. Okay. Je vais faire une bonne journée. Oh, oui. Tu dis bye, papa, c'est ton frère? Bye, Fabian. Bye, Fabian. Bye, Fabian. I have to go because this is for bigger kids. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Bye, Papa. Bye, Papa. Bye, Papa. Bye, Papa. Here we go. Ready? Amalek Day. 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 Amalek T'es un grand garçon, hein? Est-ce que je peux vous aider? <rire> Ça faisait un bout de temps qu'on avait mis Malek sur la liste d'attente ici, puis euh, Christine se prépare pour euh, retourner au travail. Ça fait qu'on voulait juste savoir s'il y avait peut-être une place qui s'ouvrait pour Malek. Euh... Okay. Le groupe d'âge de 18 mois à 3 ans, c'est euh, très long. On en prend seulement 10. Puis avec les clients existants qui transfèrent d'une classe à l'autre, euh, c'est juste deux places qui, euh, qui s'ouvrent. Euh, la... Malek's name has been on the waiting list since before he was born. So this means the wait is at least three years long before there's an opening. The demand for this kind of service is huge in Halifax's francophone community. That's the reality here. Bon ben, merci beaucoup. And for us, this means Malek will follow his big brother's footsteps into an English daycare. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> You did? It was just fine. Fine or was it awesome? The basketball room still weren't up. It is basketball. Even if the first day of kindergarten is finally over, oui, allô? there's still one more surprise coming. Pas comme ça, votre avis a changé. J'espère que ça lui causera pas de problème. T'as pas besoin de t'inquiéter. J'ai pas encore eu personne qui a failli la maternelle. Puis je peux te garantir qu'il va très bien faire. C'est un petit gars super intelligent. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. De rien. Bonne journée. Merci, bye bye. C'était Madame Jacqueline, la directrice de l'école, pour nous dire que Mathieu ne sera pas dans la classe de francisation comme prévu, mais il sera dans la classe de maternelle française. Là. Wow! Mm. That's exciting. The principal must have seen possibilities that weren't obvious to me. Okay, Théo. Time to do some schoolwork, okay? Look over some school stuff. Alright, so walk my In five weeks, Bobasa did something with my son that I wasn't able to do at home in the first five years of his life. I know it's there. Parfait. Mais pourquoi t'as pas eu un colon aujourd'hui? T'as parlé anglais un peu? Beaucoup. Beaucoup? Dans la classe aussi, mais il faut aussi faire sûr qu'on parle en français. en français. Et si tu peux pas trouver le mot, qu'est-ce qu'on pourrait faire? 
Demande à madame. Oui. Ou demande à un ami. Mais tu peux le demander à la madame, tu peux pas ton collant. Je fais mon travail. Up until now, I could only imagine such a transformation for my son. Colori les lettres qui correspondent à chaque mot. Okay. Réécris le mot dans, la, dans les cases. Qu'est-ce que ça? L-O-U-P. Wow! Première journée de la semaine, allez. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, vendredi, vendredi. Very good. I'm super proud. Are you super proud? You should be doing great work. I got to. Over the course of the year, Matteo's homework becomes progressively more complicated. So say, ton montre et raconte. So you're going to talk to your class and show them something, okay? Yes. So every week there's going to be a different theme. It's called un, 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 un thème différent. Le premier thème, c'est ma famille. A project like this requires a lot of collaboration. Oh, my God. Au marché. Is that how we would say it or we should have to say it more? Au marché de Halina. Okay, so then... only stresses me out because of the sentence structure. J'aime aller ou d'aller. J'aime aller. The beginning was easy because it was pretty basic, but they got a little bit more elaborate. How did I misspell that? Ça me stresse que la madame va corriger mes fautes d'orthographe. 